The town of Arignano is mentioned for the first time at the end of the 10th century in a diploma of Emperor Otto III of Saxony. Fife of the city of Chieri until the 18th century, it saw a succession of numerous noble families up to the Costa della Trinita. Two imposing buildings stand out over the town, the fortress and the lower castle. The fortress, also called the Upper Castle, already existed in 1047, but owes its present appearance to reconstruction at the end of the 13th century, carried out at the end of the war between Marquis William VII of Monferrato and the confederated communes of Asti and Chieri. Heavily damaged by the militias of Facino Cane during the 4th century, it was rebuilt a century later with walled curtains reinforced by square towers and the keep. Having lost its defensive character during the 18th century, the upper castle was enlarged with the construction of a villa for the Costa della Trinita counts, soon enriched with grotesque frescoes and plaster decorations, as well as surprising neo-Gothic stables already with a Carlo Albertine taste. The lower castle, on the other hand, was built by the Costa counts in the middle of the 15th century. The parish church, dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, was built in 1781 to replace an older church. Of particular interest is Arignano Lake in the Cremera region. Built by Paolo Remigio Costa in 1839, Engineer Benedetto Brunati's design had the tasks of irrigation, powering mills, and the production of ice. Today, after a century's abandon, it is a valued natural oasis. Mm -hmm.